In the Bible, the promise of a new heaven and a new earth is one of the most awe-inspiring and hopeful visions we find in Scripture. Revelation chapter 21 verses 1 to 5 tells us, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne, saying, Behold, the dwelling of God is with men. He will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more. For the former things have passed away. And he who sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. This divine promise echoes through Scripture. In Ezekiel 37 verse 27 to 28, God declares, My dwelling place shall be with them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Then the nations will know that I, the Lord, sanctify Israel, when my sanctuary is in their midst forevermore. But this transformation comes with great power. As 2 Peter chapter 3 verses 10 to 14 says, but the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a loud noise, and the elements will be dissolved with fire, and the earth and the works that are upon it will be burned up. Since all these things are thus to be dissolved, what sort of persons ought you to be in lives of holiness and godliness, waiting for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be kindled and dissolved, and the elements will melt with fire? But according to his promise we wait for new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. This new earth is not merely a place, but a promise of renewal, where righteousness dwells, where God himself will live with his people. Are you ready for this great renewal? The Bible calls us to live holy and godly lives as we await the coming of the new heaven and new earth. Subscribe to learn more about the promises of God and the wonders of his word.